Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at detail zooms for Final Cut Pro, a really useful pack for Final Cut that's going to make it really simple for you guys just to zoom into any part of the screen with one drag and drop. This is something that should be really simple in Final Cut, but it doesn't really have a feature that is super efficient. Something like Ken Burns does the job, but it takes a long time to program, you need to do a lot of cutting. This allows you to do it with one plugin, really simple, just drag and drop. So let's get into this. So once you've downloaded your pack from FCPX Full Access and you've installed it into Motion Templates, you want to come up to the right hand side and click these six boxes that show or hide the browser. If you come over here, you make sure you have the T selected in the top left. That's going to make sure you have the menu. You come up to Detail Zooms, and you can see right here we have our plugin pack full of a load of different plugins so that you can target any part of the screen. I'm basically going to show you guys how to use this pack and just a couple of cool little neat things that you can do. If you take a look, the plugin pack is split up into two sections. That's Fast Zooms and Long Zooms. Long zooms is also broken up into deep zooms and shallow zooms, and I'll go into those in a moment. Fast zooms, you can probably imagine if we drop this on the clip, or I can double click and it will drop it right on top. They look something like this. And you can pull those out so that it stays as long as you want. So the zoom is fast, and the zoom out is fast. If we come down to long zooms, we can do the same thing. You can double click. It will drop it on and you can see the zoom is much more eased in, it's over a longer period of time. That's one of our deep zooms and if we come down to shallow zooms, see this is over the same period of time but it's a shallower zoom. And again of course we can just drag that out to the right and our zoom is going to be the same length and it will sit, it will wait until it comes out and it will pull out. If we also click on our plugin and we come up to the right hand side and we can show the inspector by clicking these three slider icons, we come over we click the T. You can see we have the choice here to choose zoom in or zoom out. So if we unclick zoom in, that means that the plugin is going to start zoomed in. And if we play it now, it will zoom out from there. Similarly, if we click zoom in and we unclick zoom out, it will start zoomed out, it will zoom in, and the plugin won't zoom out. So that's a really useful way to end a clip. Packs like this are really popular with YouTubers or just for explaining something and drawing your viewers' attention to it. I've also found a couple of applications in videos where I didn't really think I'd have a use for it, but actually it just saved me from keyframing a zoom in or a zoom out, and all I had to do was drop this plugin on. So I highly recommend this pack. You never know we're gonna use a pack like this. Okay, so let's find out some ways that we can use this plugin. So I've got this nice search engine plugin here from FCPX Full Access, and it's a great looking pack, but you can imagine this lady, she's speaking about searching for something in her video, and just to accentuate that a little bit, it's nice to have a little zoom in above it. So if we come back to detail zooms here, I think one that's gonna work really well here are shallow zooms, which are a bit longer. I'm gonna find the one that says center. You can see how these are categorized by center, left, right, top left, top right. So I'm just gonna drag the center one above our plugin here, and I'm gonna extend it to the end of the plugin. I might even just go a little bit further so it zooms out after the plugin is done. Let's just take a look at how that looks. It's one of those subtle things that really ups your production value, but someone watching it might not be able to tell exactly why they feel like your video is high quality. This is a really simple way to get there. Let's just see one more example of that. I've got this plugin called Timers and Counters from Full Access. And yeah, it looks really nice. It's a beautiful thing. The video looks super professional, but I do think we can just add to this slightly by coming back to our detail zooms up here. And let's pick a different one. Let's come to, let's choose deep zoom left. So I'm just gonna drag deep zoom left. I'm gonna drop it over our video. I'm gonna drag it to the end of our plugin that we're trying to accentuate, maybe even just slightly past it. So it zooms out after the plugin is done. And let's see how that looks. That just looks awesome. The viewer is so brought into this video, there's no way they can miss that information and you've really just added some production value to your video with one plugin. Okay, so let me show you one final application of this plugin pack and that's stacking the plugins on top of each other to create cool, unique movements. Let's take a look at this little sequence I've got going here. You can imagine this is for some sort of tutorial where he's teaching you how to do something on a computer and he's talking about it and he's saying, command enter and you can hold that for five seconds but we can really add to this by zooming into that detail let's use the fast zooms in this application so the detail up here is happening in the top right so i'm going to drag top right over the plugin i'm going to drag it to the end of where we want to use it let's see how that looks
Okay, that's really cool, but I think we can do even better by accentuating the second title. So now I'm going to come up and I'm going to drag bottom right above our second title because the activity happens in the bottom right. And we'll drag it to the end of our plugin there so that everything zooms out at the same time. Let's see how that goes. That looks absolutely awesome, really professional, and there really is no limit to how much you can stack these on top of each other. This is where I've also found other applications really useful, and I've been editing videos that aren't necessarily tutorials, they'll just be, you know, travel videos or something like that. And I just wanted to have a subtle zoom into something without having to keyframe it, and this came in really useful. So that's all from today, just a quick tutorial, but make sure you check out this pack from FCPX Full Access, it's really easy to use, and it's going to add that production quality to your videos. So stay creative and we'll see you in the next one.